Hare Krishna, dear friends and devotees, today we will go through 18th chapter of Nectar of Devotion, which is called Character of Ecstatic Love. So basically in the previous chapter started the description what is Bhava Bhakti or Ecstatic Love and the characteristics of Bhava Bhakti were given primary and secondary and uh, it was explained that such a person who has Bhava externally he is showing certain symptoms like let's say he can cry sometimes because of his love for Krishna or his body can uh, shiver or he can laugh but these symptoms uh, one can very easily uh, pretend that he has these symptoms and because of this reason Rupa Goswami is giving other symptoms which cannot be uh, one cannot pretend he either have them or does not have them and they are described in this chapter so Shia Prabhupada is saying Rupa Goswami next describes the characteristics of a person who has actually developed his ecstatic love for Krishna. The characteristics are as follows. So we will read the way how Shri Prabhupada describes them and then we can read how Dhanadhar Maharaj describes them. The same characteristics, but it may have little difference in the English. First, he is always anxious to utilize his time in the devotional service of the Lord. He does not like to be idle. He wants service always 24 hours a day without deviation. Second, he is always reserved and preservant. Third, he is always detached from all material attraction. Four, he does not long for any material respect in return for his activities. Five, he is always certain that Krishna will bestow his mercy upon him. Six, he is always very eager to serve the Lord faithfully. 7. He is very much attached to the chanting of the holy names of the Lord. 8. He is always eager to describe the transcendental qualities of the Lord. 9. He is very pleased to live in a place where the Lord's pastimes are performed. Mathura, Vrindavan or Dvaraka. So, Shodandar Maharaj is saying in this regard, because Bhava can make the heart soft, it can become sensitive to Krishna conscious emotions and various emotions can be experienced like crying, shivering, faltering of the voice, etc, etc, etc. But as we said, this can be uh, It's not necessary that every person who has, who is crying or who is shivering has Bhava Bhakti. So there are more reliable symptoms. These symptoms are as follows, nine symptoms. Same as we read from Shiva Prabhupada. Avyarta Kalatvam, utilization of time refers to constant engagement in devotional service 24 hours a day. Second, Kshanti, perseverance, remaining tolerant and patient even amidst disturbance. Three, Virakti, detachment, complete indifference to the objects of sense gratification. Four, manash, Mana Shunyata, pridelessness, to feel humble even though one is extremely elevated. 5. Asha Banda, hope against hope. To possess the firm faith that Krishna will deliver one to the highest perfection, even though one feels low and utterly unqualified to achieve it on his own. 6. Samutkanta, intense eagerness to achieve pure, pure loving service. 7. Namagane Sadaruchi, constant attraction to chanting Hare Krishna. 8. Asakti Tat Gunakyani Addiction to glorifying Krishna's qualities. And 9. Pritis Tat 
vasati sthale love for living in the lord's dam so if we see that someone has these symptoms that means he has bhava bhakti this, these are the reliable symptoms of bhava bhakti now the question comes sometimes <coughs> it may look like that, that some neophytes or even non-devotees can express something that looks like bhava so how is that possible like they never practice sadhana bhakti they never were doing seriously devotional practices and still it looks like they get some some symptoms of bhava and rupa goswami is explaining that when neophytes or non-devotees display emotions that resemble the symptoms of bhava this is called ratyabhas or reflection of bhava because of association with the devotees of the Lord, sometimes one can experience a reflection of Baba in his heart. And there are two types of Ratyabhas or reflection of Baba Pratibimba, reflective, and Chaya, shadow. So the first one, reflective attachment, Pratibimba. Uh, Dandar Maharaj is saying, someone may execute devotional service with an ulterior motive for fruitive gain or liberation. In this case, although the motive is corrupt, the practice is usually quite intense. So while performing devotional activities in the association of advanced devotees, such a person may experience symptoms that resemble ecstasy because the genuine ecstasy of advanced devotees is reflecting upon the mirror of his heart. And the second kind of reflection of bhava, it's chaya or shadow attachment. Sometimes a person may execute devotional services out of social convention or curiosity. Compared to reflective attachment, this devotional service is less intense, but the motif is not nearly as corrupt. Such people may exhibit a slight resemblance of ecstatic symptoms, especially when they join Kirtana, attend festivals, visit the Holy Dam, or get the occasional associ association of saintly devotees. So the previous type, Pratibimba, it's more intense. It's like a reflection in a mirror. That's why it's called a reflective attachment. And Chayarati bas, they are not as intense. That's why it's called shadow attachment. But if such a personality, so although they don't have the, the real Baba, they have just a reflection of Baba in their heart, uh, if they associate for a long time properly with the devotees, their so-called uh, bhava or reflection of bhava, it can become real. They can get the real bhava just by association uh, association with advanced devotees. <coughs> and sometimes uh, Rupa Goswami is saying someone may really get Baba, he can really show the symptoms of Baba, and in this case, one should what one, one should see is that uh, although he did not practice seriously sadhana bhakti, uh, maybe he was practicing very seriously in his previous life, and because of this, at that time, he is getting uh, the symptoms of Baba. Basically, he did the job in the previous life, so now he is getting everything straight directly getting the results from his previous practice previous lives and immediately he goes on a very advanced spiritual level so basically this is the <coughs> the end of the discussion of Shiro Rupa Goswami uh, on ecstatic love Baba Bhakti uh, which was describing the characteristics of uh, Baba primary and secondary 
and the symptoms, external symptoms of someone who has Bala and internal symptoms. And we said that from both. External sometimes can be imitated, but internal not. So these are the more important symptoms, the internal symptoms of a devotee. Hare Krishna.